In this lecture, we will look at few examples. The first one is to graph the following function over a two-period interval. The function is y equals one half cosine pi over two x. And here is the solution. Uh, the first thing we need to do is want to find out the period. The period is always denoted by t, which equals two pi. 2 pi is always the numerator, and the denominator is always the coefficient of x. Okay. So 2 pi divided by pi over 2. Recall you can write him this way, and then you know change the division into multiplication by flipping numerator and denominator. All right, pi upstairs goes to down, goes down, and 2 goes up, and then the division comes to the multiplication. Cancel the pi here and here, 2 times 2 is 4. So the period we know is 4. That means from 0 to 4, it completes one period. And from 0 to 8, the function should complete two periods. You can see from here to here, and again one more time. So that's two period interval from 0 to 8. Let's see down here is that why the period is 4. Ah, okay, I want to explain that. Okay. The middle value between 0 and 4 is 2, and then the middle value between 0 and 2 is 1. Okay, the, the middle value between 2 and 4 is 3, is because 2 plus 4 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. Alright, so uh, when x choose those four values, that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, they are in the first period, right here. Okay. Uh, then, you know, pi over 2 times each x value. Pi over 2 times 0 is 0, pi over 2 times 2 is pi, because these two cancel these two. Uh, pi over 2 times 3 is 3 pi over 2 and pi over 2 times 4 is 2 pi. Okay, then you know we then have a 0 pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Now this quantity is the one right here. Okay, when we have a quantity right here which equals these five typical values, you will then have a cosine pi over 2 times x. Uh, this quantity will equal to 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. Why this is the case? You know, uh, if you remember the graph of cosine, then you know basically uh, this is the one you know we did before, huh? Okay, you see cosine x equals this one, two, three, four, five values. You then have a y equals those typical values. Okay, so basically I want to say is this row and this row are exactly the same. All right, we are not done yet. Uh, we have to multiply this cosine pi over 2x by one half because this one half is in front of it. Okay, so each value upstairs times one half. Okay, one half times every value upstairs. 
one half times y is one half, one half times zero is zero, one half times negative y is negative one half, one half times zero is zero, one half times one is one half. All right. So when x is zero, you have a y is one half. Okay, x is zero, y is on one half. So zero one half is right here. Okay, now when x is zero, and then uh, wait, when x is one, y is zero. So one zero, one zero is the point right here. And then two negative one half. When x is two, you have a negative one half here for y. So two negative one half. And then keep going. Three zero, you see is right here. And then four one half. Four one half is right here. X equals one, two, three, four, and y is one half. Okay, so one period goes in this way. Okay, this then is another period. So that will be two period interval graph. All right, that's for cosine. Now, the second example right here is we are given a graph. Huh? This graph is given. Okay, this graph is given. We want to find out the equation of this graph. Okay, the following graph is of the form y equals a sine bx or y equals a cosine bx. Uh, here we required b greater than zero. Huh? We don't want to put negative number here. It can be negative, you know, but you know, we like to do positive. All right, b is positive. We want to determine the equation of the graph. Uh, basically, we say here is that we want to determine the function of the graph. All right, you can see down here is that uh, there are a few things we want to be clear. Uh, the first thing is that starting from zero, zero, you see down here zero, zero, starting from zero, zero. Then we know that sine because you know cosine starts from either highest or, or lowest if is uh, you know the flipped, and we know here the graph starts from the origin. Then we know it's sine. So we want to choose this one. Huh? That's one thing. Here is the second thing, is that. It goes down negative first. We know sine x, it turn on the calculator. Here is sine x, okay, you can see sine x. When you graph it, it goes to the positive first. The reason it goes to negative is because uh, the graph is flipped, sine is flipped. So this A will be negative. Uh, we say B must be positive, but A down here must be negative. How do we know the amplitude is two? That's probably easy one. Uh, you know, it goes down deep to the lowest two and reaches zero and then reaches the highest two. So we know the amplitude is two and it should be negative. So then we know value a is negative two. All right. So we know is sine. We know a is negative two. The things left over is b, and b will tell us what the period. Okay. You know here from two pi divided by pi over two, we know is four. From zero to two pi, it completes two periods right here. So you see one from zero to pi, one period, and another period. 
So basically, the period here is pi. How did we get pi? It's 2 pi divided by 2. Okay? Yeah, that's an easy one. So why do we need to divide 2 pi divided by 2? You know, that depends on the coefficient of x. So apparently down here, b should be 2 then. All right, because 2 pi divided by 2, that's the period, pi. And from 0 to pi, and from pi to 2 pi. Okay, so it completes two periods in 2 pi, then b equals 2. All right, because period is pi. 2 pi divided by 2. And then finally, what is the equation or the function? And then you may write the function is y equals negative 2 sine 2x. And this one is the solution for the one right here. Okay? Please review the lecture. I'll see you next time.